God is standing in my future. God is standing in my future. I like the sound of that. <coughs> Say it with me. God is standing in my future. Say it like you mean it. Central to 
my relationship with God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, it says in Proverbs, and do not lean on your own understanding. The writer of Psalm 28 describes the Lord as my strength and my shield. In Him, my heart trusts. And in the ninth Psalm, and those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. In other words, the future represents where God is, as well as who God is. We know God's name, and we know God is already where we're going, waiting for us. And then, there's hope. In his letter to the Hebrews, Paul described hope as an anchor for the soul. Anchor. There isn't anybody in here that can't use one of those. The seas of life can be rough. You don't always get noticed. The storm is coming. Sometimes you just have to write it out. Without a good anger, your boat can be thrown way off of us. Amen? Amen? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord to Jeremiah, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Another good way to describe hope is to trust in, wait for, look for, or desire something or someone, or expect something good to happen in the future. Our hope, Jeremiah says to God, is in you. In other words, hope of the future, they're kind of like first cousins. So your hope and God are connected, so connected, they can't be separated. Where God stands, our hope is there too. So just like your future is waiting for you, so is hope. And so is God. Kind of a package deal. So the things that make the future the future also define who God is. So God is telling us that we don't need to be afraid of our 
our future because God is going to be there every step of the way. Yeah. Moses wrote in Deuteronomy that the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. As a wise man once said, the hour is never too late. The favor is never too great. The distance is never too far for God to be where you are. <coughs> Yesterday, today, and, and tomorrow. God is standing in your future. And God, I think God will want us to remember that. Amen. Amen.